careful when meeting up with someone you meet online. Good evening, I'm Don Hudson. And I'm Kim Fisher. This all stems from a sexual assault case in southern Utah. ABC 4's Greg Neft explains. The case certainly did attract a fair share of attention and led to questions about online dating safety. The case involves Samuel Heber Butler. He's accused of sexually assaulting someone he met on a dating app back in January 2017. These cases, uh, typically first degree felony uh, sex abuse cases, do take a little bit of time um, to sort through the evidence. The prosecutor says no new victims have come forward and there's none other they're aware of. He has been charged with uh, rape for an allegation uh, out of St. George here. Well, there's no question a lot of people do use these dating apps. A lot of people do like them. The broader concern, how do you stay safe while you're online? It's not gone well at all. Um, it's a pretty risky way to meet somebody, to begin a relationship with someone that could be deceiving you from the very get-go. Elizabeth says she's worked with people who've been impacted by bad dates set up on these dating apps. She recommends extreme caution. You can try um, meeting in a public place the first few times, not just the first time. The case is scheduled for trial in early December. If convicted, Butler faces five years to life in prison. In St. George, Greg Neft, ABC4 News.